Hey Google, what day is it? It is Monday, the 1st of July, 2019. Hey Google, how many days until August 25th? 55 days. Hey Google, what is the weather like today? In Victoria today, it'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 22 and a low of 13. Thank you, Google. Today is July 1st. Here in Canada, it's Canada Day. Yay! So, I'm 39 years old, and I've had a lot of good experiences, but I've also had a lot of bad experiences. Those bad experiences have made me who I am today. I've been traveling all over the globe this year, seven different countries, filming all sorts of different trainers, but the one thing that stands out is I've always been behind the camera and not in front of it. Time to change that. I'm gonna film 55 videos every single day until August 25th, maybe longer. We'll see how we feel. Every single one of these videos will be informational, targeted towards taking an average Joe like myself and making him an athlete, taught by masters of their own craft, to inspire you to become a better version of yourself, to be able to duplicate this into any sport over the past three months, I've been planning out, talking to so many different sports professionals to make these videos fun, but also informational to inspire you to follow your dreams. I'm an average guy who's gonna get trained by sports experts to make me an athlete, to show you that anything is possible. So all that I ask you to do is hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to follow along in these daily videos and to comment below. I want to hear from you. I want to know what you want to learn because that's going to help me in my 55 day journey. This is a lot of videos, a lot of content. I want to hear from you. I want to know what was your biggest takeaway and don't forget to donate to the ride to conquer cancer. Oh, by the way, wink, wink, wait till the end of the video there's a great giveaway from this today's guest you're not going to want to miss it it's worth five hundred dollars so i was walking to jasper's my riding coach to get the 4 on one of what's actually going on for this challenge and i stumbled across this Welcome to the Ultimate Hockey Fan Cave. We built this cave in Victoria, BC because we got tired of paying the high cost of going to a Connect game. So we brought the game to us. We have eight TVs in here. Everything you see in here is made out of hockey sticks from the floor to the chairs. And we actually live in the legendary Jasper Blake area. Plus, check us out. We do blade shades, hockey stick sunglasses. Jesse, how are you? Come on in. Hey Jesse, so uh, you should have received an email from uh, Alicia, and in that email you'll you'll find a link, uh, and that link's going to take you to our forms page. So we're at the forms page, and you'll notice there's four forms. Uh, you're going to pick the one that's most appropriate to you. Obviously, we we have people we work with that are triathlon, cycling, or running. Yeah, uh, you're getting ready for cycling um, so the form pops up and now you just fill it out and most of these questions are pretty easy like your name you got that one I figured yeah I okay. got that name <laughs> I hope I have that name um, phone number I forgot my phone number okay good I don't really know where I live um, <laughs> who refused you you did 
Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Sure, yeah, I'd love you, to get everything from yeah. you. you. You don't have to, just because, you know, just because I'm here. No, no, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, yeah, I love it. Date of birth, uh, what, oh, I'm getting older by the day here. I bet you I'm quite a bit older than you. No, it's not that bad. Oh my gosh, you're oh, so young. It's like, oh, are you kidding me? Like, height and weight. Okay, height, how tall am I? 6'1". Okay, emergency contact. Mother always, otherwise she'll get angry, especially if she sees this video. Yep. My biking jersey, I'm probably a medium. Biking shorts, probably a medium. Goals. So one of the things that's really important to establish is w what you want to do. And okay. that can be anything from, you know, you're doing Ride to Conquer Cancer, so that's, that's an easy one. To, so an A know. race is like your top race, a B yeah. race is your middle race, and C race is, so, so A yeah. race, long-term goal, uh, let's see here, something good and cool, um, Ironman. Yeah, I think you there should, go. I think you got the bug from Maybe, this. maybe we'll go 70.3 for, for, to start. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so B race, Ride to Conquer Cancer. C race, or, uh, Fondo. The number of years I've been cycling. Okay, I haven't been cycling in a long time. The number of years I've been cycling. Uh, eight. Cool. Ten years ago. Do <laughs> um, you have any background in biking, running, swimming? Um, not a great swimmer. Running, ran a marathon last year. Uh, biking, here, there, and everywhere. Uh, which discipline is cycling are you training for? Uh, road. I, w I would put a multi-day bike event. Okay. Yeah. Category are you in? So th that question will make sense if you are competing. You're not, yeah. so don't no. worry about it. In cycling, they have different categories. Okay. Category one being the fastest, and then I think category five is sort of entry level. Okay. Um, and then so is it aged based as well? Uh, no, it's not actually. That's okay. one of the neat things about cycling is they they do it level based, so you can you know you can be a category three rider, and there might be 50 year olds and 20 year olds and you know cool. it's 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 kind of cool sprinting sprints what's the difference look at that there's no difference that's a typo there we go yeah, yeah, okay cool know. eeny meeny yeah. money mo yeah i don't know what's going on with that do you feel good climbing on a bike i, I want to work on that and what then do you, what do you consider your strongest uh sure sure you're a sprinter okay okay no not really but i will we'll figure it out when we get there or sure. bike handling seals yep you can put that's that where you come in yeah Exactly. Well, I mean, how many years have you been doing this kind of structured sport? Or any kind of structured sport. Did you grow up playing any sports or? Basketball. Basketball. They, and the reason we want to establish that is just like, have you ever done sports before? Yeah. Have you followed a program? Have you been yeah. part of a team? Have you, you know, just so we know that you have a feel for it. Because some people come in there and they've r literally done nothing. This is yeah. good. How many days a week do you currently ride? Well, since this is day one, mm -hmm. I haven't jumped on a bike yet. Mm -hmm. So... Zero. Zero. Awesome. <laughs> How many zero. hours do you currently ride? How many? Yeah, zero. zero. What is the longest ride you've done in the last six weeks? Zero. zero. <laughs> do you ever ride with a group? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, geez, I don't um, know. What okay. Is it right on? Well, there's lots of different groups, and that's something we can uh, establish in a bit. But yeah. right now, if you don't okay. currently ride with any, sure. don't worry. Okay. About it. Yeah. Please identify the days uh, for longest sessions. So Monday, Tuesday, uh, Sunday. Yeah, so this is an important uh, uh, question because we need to establish what your week looks like. Yeah. You know, typically people's best days for long sessions are weekends because yeah. they work. Part of our uh, platform is that we, we want to create the program that is, uh, you know, fits around your schedule and yeah. integrates with the rest of your life. So by knowing this, now we know that, okay, well, we're not going to put a long ride on Sunday. Can you commit an hour on those days? Can we Can commit, you commit nothing I'm going to ride in the days? morning, and I'm going to ride to work every single day plus whatever I do. Yeah, okay, so that's perfect. So we can use the commutes to work as part of your ride volume for the week. How many hours can you commit to training? So that's uh, an geez. important one. How many hours are in a day? Well, yeah, but yes and no, right? Like you've already established that you're, you know, Wednesday to Saturday... During, no. this, during this challenge from uh, July 1st until August 24th, I do need to put a day of rest in because yeah, people totally. have been telling me that I need to yeah. rest. Yeah. So six yeah. days a week, I'm looking at training. Yeah, So, but we know roughly on Wednesday to Saturday, maybe you got about an hour. Yeah, hour, maybe. two hours, depends. Right. Like maybe I could always wake up, Saturday. I could wake up at six and right. do two hours and then go yeah. to work. So there's four potential hours in the week that okay. we have. And then on the days that you've said you can Other ride days, longer. Other days, three, four hours. Great, like how long is your commute to work? Okay. Like, is it an hour each way? Is it 10 minutes each way? Because that's relevant. 
This is a big one. Cross training for cycling. It's like um, what kind of cross train are we talking running? Are we yeah, talking like running, different? hiking. Is yeah. there are there any other activities that you everything? Yeah, okay, all of it. So th- that and that says, can you? This is great for the video because yes, I've got hot yoga. I've got perfect. Uh, to that. All yeah. sorts of different training with all sorts of different health professionals to help me. Of course, I did a run yesterday. Yeah. Do a hike yesterday. Please list your top five race results. Zero. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. You regularly stretch. Yes. And is that through with yoga? With yoga, but also myself. Do you regularly do any core exercises? Yes. Are you currently injured in any way? No. Do you have any medical issues? No. Do you have any experience lifting weights? Yes. Are you currently working as strength training specialist? I will be. Awesome. Okay. Do you have uh, access to a good weight room? Yes. Do you see a massage therapist? Yes. Excellent. Synergy health. Do you have any allergies? No. Do you drink coffee? Yes. Consider yourself a healthy eater? Yes, you are what you eat. Our goal here is that we have a really clear picture of who you are, what you want to do, and where you're going. And this just this gives us that picture. And it makes it way cool. easier for us to then program for you, specifically for you. Yep. Heart rate monitor. Sunto. Cool. Sunto. Is that all right? Ah, oh, whatever. Hey, can you answer that phone for me? That's the phone we never answer. You know why we have that phone? It's a landline. Oh, nobody has a landline. No, but you know why we have one? So our kids can call 911. Please provide any uh, additional information you may feel relevant. Um, be awesome. <laughs> so now that you've submitted that, okay. that goes to uh, right now Alicia or whoever's uh, in our, uh, she's like our admin person. Um, and then that'll be sent to me or whoever, whatever is the lead coach okay. uh, on that athlete. It'll be sent to me and then we read through it. And mm-hmm. But what we need to establish right now is what your week looks like. Okay. So on Mondays... I only work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Right. Every other day is dedicated to a riding and this is where we're going to figure out what day in the week looks like for me. Yeah. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are dedicated to training. I keep okay. a master cool. file on you. And uh, in that file, I have your annual training plan. I have what I call your micro cycle, which is your week. So okay. I identify, you know, what days of the week work for what, and then I piece it together. Uh, I'm going to spread out what I would call training stress load uh, through the week. Got lots of opportunity in those days to do longer sessions, to do back to back big ride days, which you're going to need to do. And then Wednesday to Saturday is actually pretty simple as well. You're going to be commuting to work. We know you're going to get a couple hours on the bike, one in each direction. Uh, but the bulk of your, you know, real training load is, is going to happen on that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday window. So strength training uh, will happen somewhere in the Wednesday to Saturday yes. window. You know, just as a recommendation, I don't think you need to do two is great. The strength training is also important because yeah. it's, a, it's a certain type of training stress. I actually like that it's going to happen in that Wednesday to Saturday window because it. we need to take advantage of yeah. the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to actually get you out on the bike because you, the event you're doing is back to back days of yeah. long days. Once I know those little parts, then I, then I piece it together and we set you up. We ingrain a week for you. Uh, I'm a big believer that the body likes rhythm. Uh, it likes consistency, um, especially if you have a work life. Uh, then there's like a forced con- there's a forced rhythm there that you're gonna have to be in, uh, and then it's my job to make that progressive. And by that I mean, you know, if we're gonna start you at eight hours of riding a week and build you up to fifteen or twenty by the end of this, yeah, look at that. We got a schedule there. 